I just completed my first shower wearing a 0.03 millimeter poly system ultra thin skin from Lord Hair. It didn't sound like rustling plastic. This is the same one from that uh, three and a half hour video I just made where I've complained a lot about the direction of the V loops and so on. That uh, new white water I purchased isn't reflecting my ass, is it? Anyway, this is uh, gonna be a test. After every shower with the lace, I've, um, I've always had to pick out all the bloody glue at the front that's become soggy. And so now, given that this is kind of like a waterproof rain helmet, okay, so I am seeing some, well, the hairline looks like shit still. Okay, and, and any glue that I'm seeing here now is because I, in the, in the video, if you saw the last one, I placed it down and, we, and then went, oh shit, it was in the wrong position. I had to take it off because it's a lot more difficult to place lace down than, a lot more difficult to place poly down than lace. So this glue here is from that. And I never got rid of that. But it's a lot less messy given that I never painted a full uh, layer of glue onto my scalp. It was this is a pre-glue unit. And as I was talking to you in that other video about the uh, the trick to disguising all of this rubbish, because the hairline looks atrocious. Like looking at it now, it looks ridiculous. It looks awful. Um, I'm going to continue now a little bit. Maybe I'll just use a safety razor or scissors to just try to get rid of a millimetre along the front hairline so I can try to fix up this ridiculous barricade of hair as opposed to a wall of hair. Because this is... This is supposed to... I was told this was medium light density, this, this poly, but from just look, looking at it, it seems like extra thick rather than medium light. It's heavy. Now you can see that part there where I've taken the hairs off and yet left the poly there to stick to the scalp. I get the feeling that that might be the way to go, even though it doesn't look great. It at least provides a buffer. So I can see that glue can gather around the base of it, around the perimeter of the... But if that glue isn't there, maybe it'll work. Yeah. So just make sure that there's no glue around, glue collecting dirt around that. And I think after this first cleaning of the hairline, I can't imagine glue is going to get out. It is really a lipless system. I'm with Polly, you'd see the lip peeling off after a shower. Both lace, both uh, French lace and Swiss lace. But with this one, it's really firmly attached right down. And don't forget, this was pre-glued, and I mean, it's not like I was a genius for thinking of pre-gluing, but it works, as you'd expect, it, it must, because otherwise the laws of physics would have been nonsense. All right, so I'm gonna just try to chip away at the front millimeter here, because so I've got to go back to class in a few hours. Does that look better already there to you? Does that look like it's faded up more? Or does it just look silly? Because it achieved what I was intending right there. I guess my hairline, because of all the staggering cuts I did 
and the flow of it, the shape of it. It makes it look a bit awful. I guess I'm not looking, standing back and taking in the big picture. Yeah, I can see wall of hair from a distance. Doesn't matter how close I have to come to it. It, need look, it needs to look good at all distances. Also this bit here, I never really inspected properly what the problem is going on up here. Did I miss by a mile? Are they actual hairs that are stuck down in between the gaps? It's hard to tell, but the appearance is not great there, up in those gaps. Is there any folding around the lips there? So yeah, so with the shower, it felt, the shower on my head with this on, it felt, it felt like it was my natural scalp. Complete, it felt completely like it was my head that was being touched by the water. Because this is so thin that, it's thinner than most condoms. So you can feel it. I think I've got away with pressing that in closer. Uh, but I did not wet the hairpiece properly to make it malleable. Okay, we're seeing some white stuff back here. That's bad. Okay, I failed back there. There's no time for me to change this. And I don't have, I don't have enough pieces to change it either. Um, this stuff around the front perimeter here is, um, they're not the same colour as my natural hair. If you, if you were somebody with very dark hair that came out all over your body, like you can see my arms are not black hairs, they're orange hairs. So that doesn't make sense for me to have that coming out there. Also, I've, I've just had the shower for the first time since I sprayed that fake tan on. So, my skin is more tanned. But yeah, obviously the first layer of this stuff, when you put it on, it just shows you where you've done it. That's not the colour that it will finish at. I hope you understood that in the last video. So this thing here, this line stuff, it doesn't look good from here. It's a bad hairline cut. And now I'm going to adjust it because I can see that bit needs to be chopped out. Not that this will make it perfect. You see how that looks when you're peeling it off? So I'm going to take it, a chunk of that. But yeah, you see it before me. So in 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 the process of just doing that, I inadvertently made that um, design come out. The problem is the V loops have no bleaching at the bottom of the V's at all. So that is a problem. They need to be, the, the, the bottom of the V needs to be bleached. But they just cut corners wherever they can. I'm extremely unhappy about the, what they consider to be the end result on these products. And I just complain in every video basically about it. And they just simply need to lift their game because we are customers. We're paying, my, paying money. So I'm getting rid of that. If it was blonde, I'd keep it. And you'll see a discrepancy in um, skin colour there from where the 
Take 10 has just been stopped by that poly. So it's not a good hairline. Especially this thing here. One thing I'm not playing with a lot, which I would have with lace, is glue. There's not glue all over the place. It's completely the glue and the poly unit come together. And when I chop off the poly, the glue mostly goes away as well. This is not a gigantic mess here. And I think that's also aided by the fact that I pre-glued the piece instead of pre-gluing my scalp. So that was a good move. I recommend it. If you can do it nicely, it feels a little bit icky when you first do it. This um, front bit in the middle here doesn't look great. Looks like there's been some curling there. Curling is the uh, edge of the poly, it's so thin that it just ends up like that and you've got to try to scratch it out. But it doesn't want to get scratched out. And then you're left with a white 0.06mm piece of plastic sticking out the front there. So, I'm still left with the conclusion basically that it doesn't look natural. It is simply nothing and then boom, hair. And while this exists on some Greeks and, and so on, it doesn't exist on Caucasoids like me. That over there seems okay. The bit of the mess going on with that very slight amount of poly with stuff on it. But I think that's also because this hairline contours naturally in a more natural way than that side. But on the whole, does it, from a distance does that side look more natural to you or is it still just choof, way too dark too quick? There's only one solution I've got left. But I'm about to go to bed and I've already taken sleeping tablets. And that is to run bleach along the front hairline. But for now, I'm just going to darken that again. Also, I'm happy to report that the, uh, the, the spray the spray the spray tan did not dye the poly brown. And once again. That colour is not the way it will dry. And unfortunately that means I'm going to have another shower in a few hours before I go. So if you've never used spray tan before, basically a lot of most of them nowadays come with some temporary colouring just to show you where you've sprayed but that's not the chemicals that will cause the tanning effect that's a separate ex extra bit that they put in there okay when it's tanned when it's that dark brown it, it seemed like that's the right hair colour okay so that side looks more effective than that side so I guess I do have to Go back to that little idea that I had earlier. Just take a few extra hairs out of the front. And leave exposed poly. But the improvement looks absolutely minimal. So I've pressed down on that a few times, but I think what's happened there 
that little bit at the front that's getting a bit glowy and so on, is that there's no glue underneath it. I'm surprised there's enough glue to hold it down any at all because of what I did. You be careful with scissors on your forehead that close as well too. If you cut off a chunk of forehead, that would be awful. Be very careful. I, I don't put disclaimers on my videos. I am not going to be held responsible for you chopping your own balls off in, while trying to apply hair. Because, like, while I would like to achieve teacherhood, I think really I'm your guinea pig. That's kind of our relationship, isn't it? You go, you go and experiment on yourself and we'll watch the results. So we'll know what not to do. I think that's how this relationship works, isn't it? So, today's experiment is spray tan straight out of the shower. I'm gonna just get rid of a bit of that because I can't be bothered trying to apply glue to something that small. Even though it should be less of a pain in the ass than having to deal with poly. Sorry, with lace. And, and you can't pinch poly out, you have to use scissors for everything. And make sure you wash your fingers, man. You don't want that stuck. Staying there for five days. And a woman. Now I have no doubt that spraying fake tan all over glue would make the glue much less effective. That side is kind of like, I wouldn't be too afraid for having to have people see that exposed. It's still not ideal, it's, it's like lace would look better if the knots were bleached and everything. So, as it stands, lace looks more realistic than poly under day-to-day -day circumstances. So you might want to Stick with lace while they iron out this V loop problem because clearly it's it's an absolute wall of hair that they've got going on here. Am I aware that I'll have a tanned forehead and the rest of my face won't be tanned? I'm gonna try and fade it down a bit. <laughs> but you saw after the shower, that was straight after doing that yesterday, so. I wasn't suddenly an Indian. Do you know, uh, Indians are also Caucasoids. Same race as me. So color is not indicative. Skin color is not indicative of race. You have people in the same family with different coloured skin. Like my cousin's really black. First cousin. It's not that he has a black mum, it's just that I've got black. I've got black blood, I've got Maori. Heritage. And he's just got that gene has popped back up. Admittedly, I'm the redhead of the whole thing. But um, yeah, everyone's got pretty dark skin, everyone's got brown eyes. And, So yeah, isn't that interesting that, that an entire country of people who've got darker skin are the same race as um, like Americans and like white Americans and white Australians and white 
pretty yourself. Same race. But then you can, because I guess so race is basically like subspecies. I guess there's a sub subspecies. You're gonna start talking about divisions like Jewish people, obviously, Caucasoid, but they've got like a whole branch out from a single um, village, a tribe. You know, when Moses took them out of Ramses to um, slavery, out of Egypt. You can see Ramses too, by the way. You can see his body, I saw him up close. Egyptians are really amazing in the way they let you get up close and touch everything. And even after 5,000 years, it seems like the entire country is full of con artists and they've just put up these artifacts that there's no way they're real. Like paint on the walls of something that's been exposed to the air. It's still like it's pristine, bright red. Not maybe one flake of paint missing. It doesn't make any sense. It looks like it was just done. Like we're renovating the pyramids, they not. But imagine if they did, they could renovate. Oh yeah, we wanna, we've got some, uh, we actually found some ancient sea scrolls that include photographs of what the white with gold tip pyramids once looked like. And we're just gonna renovate. In fact, <laughs> there'll be, there's a whole um, industry Sparking up of people who are going to renovate relics and ruins and stuff so they look like they did back in the day. Imagine that. Would you be happy about that? I mean, you're, you're legally obliged to maintain heritage buildings, right? So, the low profile poly allows it to seamlessly go through forward with the head. So. If you're going to wear your hair forward most of the time, then poly's great, but like I say, your hair, your hair piece actually fails, obviously. If, if you can't have the wind blow back and have people see your hairline, that's ridiculous. Or when someone gets a glimpse of your hairline and go, hang on a second, that's a dead pigeon on your hair. Probably not a pigeon, more like some sort of rodent hat. I just like to think of it as hat hair. Or a hair hat. It is a hair hat. But you know, it's a couple of morning to you, right? You leave it on. And, you know. See, my great uncle complained that I was wearing a hat in church when I was balding. He said, you take that off and respect the Lord. And I did. And I was like, and my hair was all fucked up and everything. I, my comb over was messed up. But this is better. And I'll tell you something else. Holly, technically, and I have, I have no reason to doubt this, just like, like I had no reason to doubt pre-gluing would work, should allow me to wear a hat and a helmet and all the other things without any problem whatsoever. So Polly has got to be the answer. It's just got to be the answer. So they should focus all their attention on it. Lace has so many problems with glue shining through and so on. And having to worry about bleaching of knots, which they never do, right? Just, you would, you would take all the hair in stock, and it's taken from Indians usually, because it's dark and it's cheap. You make it all blonde, light blonde. Just make it all of it light blonde. Not a little bit gray or something. Then you have all these, like like a clone, right? A clone without any facial features. Then when somebody comes along and says, I want that body, you just go and you make it morph to suit that person's face. This is a lot easier. Just, I want that hair color, okay. Whatever, or just have it on a platform. Hair's facing down like that, just dunk it into the thing. Leave it there for three hours, right? Drip dries. Then it goes along the conveyor belt, whatever else is happening with the system. The conditioning, preservative, whatever needs to happen. Whoever gets in there, who, any multi-millionaire investors out there, once they get their hands on this industry, it's all over for a little guy. 
that's why I'm, I'm, I'm what. I'd, I'd be more worried about these people if they didn't cut corners, saying a few coins for themselves. But the corruption in the industry, which is not really corruption as such, it's just lack of quality control. You know, just sending out people unbleached units and, you know, hairlines that go in all different directions and stuff. Having stitching that you don't need to do, just closing like that so that when you place it in your head, it opens up into the big bald spot there. I mean, and having that tag in there that when you rip it off, it, oh, it tears a hole in the unit because they didn't think to use a different type of adhesive or something that you just take off when, when the customer had it. I mean, once a multi-millionaire has, gets their hands on this industry, imagine like Google hair, like, pff, these guys are gone. And there's so much money to be made. You just get a big company, take control of the industry, you wouldn't have little old ladies knitting hair pieces together in China anymore. It'd be a machine that goes, <laughs> 10,000 units complete. If they're not even attempting to go towards that right now, then then they're gonna be they're gonna go down. They're going down. This is this should not be a handmade job. Like what about one of those sewing machines? You just wind it and just pushes the hairs into position, right? Something. It just it doesn't seem like it, it should be a big deal. And I put product in my hair or something like that uh, to make it look a bit nicer. So I'm gonna have to have another shower because of the spray tan. Anyway, the results of the shower are that it did not affect the hold in any way whatsoever. And I may just have to jump out of an aeroplane to test out how well this stuff sticks to your head. With, you know, terminal velocity winds flying through it. Because I would have a, I would suspect that it wouldn't, it wouldn't lift. And if that worked, I would never be paranoid about the hairline being seen by anybody again. And then I'd go, all right, Polly's the solution, that's it. Because lace in the wind, you know what would happen, right? Eventually, like that's a lot of pressure. And of course, you know, you wear a hat, the glue heats up, it melts, it comes up through the hair pieces, your hairs are now stuck down into the lace. Can't happen here, buddy. That's, that's uh, waterproof. So, lace is definitely the answer. Oh, sorry, poly is definitely the answer. Learn how to speak English, probably. Anyway, I have like this. This thing, by the way, like I told you, was a skin tag, and they sprayed dry ice on it, and it's just healing. Now, without the skin tag, because I was playing with that every day. So that was done about six days ago. So hopefully, within the next five days, it'll be gone completely. And uh, I, start, I should start making some how to fix your body videos too. And once again, I'll be the guinea pig rather than the teacher. You can see the results. And, I, and trust me, I'm not going to be putting myself through pain to lose weight because I just, I just like sitting in a chair and eating food too much. So I'll find a way that, that I can achieve it without any suffering whatsoever. And somehow I might learn to enjoy it exercise in some way or another. You know, I've got, a, I've got a, an, orb, an orbital where your feet just go on these things and if I just did that while I'm watching a movie then I'd, I'd definitely get fitter and toned and lose weight. And, you know, so at the moment I'm embarrassed to smile because that can happen. But this is my last chance to ever be thin and not look old. Well, you look at Tom Cruise, he's gonna be 53 by now, right? He's looking all right. I think he wears a hairpiece. No, I think he's born very blessed. He's more blessed now though, he's gonna get a bunch of planets or something, isn't he? 
对，这样。